guys, and welcome back to Prominence 2 RPG. This is episode 14. Last time we built this fishing cabin, and here I am fishing on the dock, looking for that last Nautilus shell. I've got seven. I need one more to make the to make the last conduit that I need to make the exotic eye, which is the last eye that we need to get to the end. Now I previously got the corrupted eye from a pillager outpost, the wither eye from the wither, a cursed eye from a treasure room bastion, and a nether eye from a fortress. And we did that in all in previous videos. And while I fish for my last Nautilus shell, let's talk about how I got all the other eyes, which all happened in a grind session before I built this fishing cabin, actually. So let's talk about how we got those. And by the time we're done, hopefully, I'll have got a Nautilus shell. First, we go get the cold eye. We're using our nether tunnels, which we're using to get ourselves all over the world. Make a portal, head back up into the overworld. Because we're so far down in the nether, we usually end up in caves. So we have to dig up with ladders, and we end up perfectly underneath an igloo. Dig our way in here. It's got a hidden secret. Head on down. Hi, guys. And there's the cold eye. To get the magical eye, we found a woodland mansion, tunneled under it through the nether, came right out at the front door. Dispatched of the residence, found an evoker. Thank you for your eye. To get a witch eye, we need to get a witch pupil. We found our way to what amounts to a witch compound. There were several witches here. They didn't give up their pupil very easy, which is what we need to craft it. But finally, we got a pupil. And with it, we craft a witch eye. To get the evil eye, we level up our cleric to a master. And if we're lucky, he'll sell us an evil eye. Easy, right? But that requires a rabbit's foot. We wrangled some rabbits, put them in a hole with a feeding trough, gave them some carrots, well, and the rest is history. Hello, Garland. Thank you for the evil eye. Nice doing business with you. Our next few eyes come from watery places, so we took our nether tunnels over to a warm ocean where we got some coral. We need four different types of coral for the exotic eye. This is a pretty cool place. And not so cool neighbors. But yeah, we need coral as well as a conduit, which means heart of the sea and nautilus shells. While we're out here, we're on the hunt for a sunken ship to get a treasure map, and we found this guy. A nuda branch. Pretty cool. He helped us find a ship, which we found a treasure map, followed it, and we got a black eye and a heart of the sea. We need two hearts of the sea, so we head off to find another ship with another treasure map. And we got our second heart of the sea. So finally, we need a guardian eye. And there was no ocean monument near our warm ocean. So we took our nether tunnels out underneath an ocean monument, which is a pretty good way to take these on. Except, of course, I got lost. Finally found my way to a room with a whole bunch of guardians and an elder guardian. Took him on with my looting sword to give myself a best chance of getting his eye. which we did. There's also this room with a chest full of Nautilus shells, which we need. And then on the way out of the monument, I came across this fleet of ships. Reminded me of the Iron Fleet from Game of Thrones. And there we go. Meanwhile, we've been fishing up a Nautilus shell. It took this many casts.
And the second my luck ran out, I got my last Nautilus shell. All right, guys, we did it. We got the last Nautilus shell. Let's make our last, let's make the last eye that we need, which is called an exotic eye. So here's our last Nautilus shell. We only caught this many things before we got it. It was pretty quick. Make an exotic eye. And okay, we need one more conduit. We've got it. We already had another one that we made. We need, let's see, an eye vendor. Easy, I think. There we go. And we've got horn tube. Oh, these are fans. Horn bubble. I think I decorated with some of these. Okay, there's that. Tube. Do I not have a regular bubble coral? I will do a bubble coral, fire coral, tube coral, horn coral. Okay, I think we've got them all now. What are we missing? Fire coral, tube coral, horn coral, bubble coral, glow ink sacs? Okay, we're short one glow ink sac. The good news is we can haunt a regular ink sac to get a glow ink sac. Let's test this out. Let's just get a whole bunch of them. Why not? Let's put those in the haunter. There they come. All right, we've got glowing sex. Thank goodness. I thought we were going to be off hunting for glow squids. Okay, finally, we're here. All the stuff, exotic eye, and we've got it. Enhancement, where's Atlantis? Okay, let's go take a look at our eyes. Here we go, the 12th eye. And I threw it. I don't know where it went. There it is, back in my inventory. Come on, Scott. There we go. No shortage of ender eyes around here. So here we go. We've got 12 of these. That's what we need. Someone made a comment that we can use a regular eye of ender as one of the eyes. I am going to ignore that because this was too much of a grind. Also probably worth mentioning the eyes that we didn't get. The rogue eye, this one right here, it comes from a jungle pyramid. And I went through two jungle pyramids and did not find one. So I think that was just some really bad luck. And then there's the cryptic eye which comes from just enchanting. I think you randomly get it when you enchant books. However, this mod pack has Zenith in it, which modifies the enchanting table. And I think it breaks this. And so it's impossible to get the cryptic eye. Then there's the undead eye, which you craft. And you need an undead soul to get to do that, which comes from a skeleton horse. I stood in like three thunderstorms and all I ended up with was dead horses. So I don't know. Oh, it says 100% chance. So all you gotta do is get a skeleton horse and you'll get one of these undead souls. So if you're lucky enough to see a skeleton horse, kill it. And the other one is this lost eye, which is just in mine shafts, but there's just so many modded mine shafts around. I just had no confidence that I was going to find one. I mean, I went through a few mine shafts, didn't find one. So I ended up just not getting one of these from the mine shafts. It's probably pretty easy. All right, let's grab all the eyes. Never thought I would see this day. So we can throw these eyes. If we go out here and throw it, let's go way out into the middle of a field. It's off in this direction. So we could do the thing where we're throwing eyes and following them, or we can use an explorer's compass and search for a stronghold. There's multiple strongholds from modded, but this is the one we want right here. I don't think there are gonna be any actual strongholds because they're replaced by Youngsberger strongholds. And it there is one 336 and 2736. But let's go there using our nether tunnels because that's why we built those. So some quick math tells me that we need to go to 42 and 342, which is down here, 42, 342, which is right here, right here in the middle of this lava lake. That's okay, because all we have to do is build a portal. We don't have to dig up in the nether into that lava lake. So we do have to ladder up here in the nether to get around this lava lake here, build this bridge out here to get to 42. Does not seem safe. Okay, so right here, 42, 342, all right, let's see if this ends up in or near Stronghold. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Um, what are these things? Corrupted pillagers. Definitely need to break these. Where even am I? All right, priorities breaking these. I wish I could have investigated those spawners, but man, that's brutal. Maybe I could have lit them up. Okay, I think there's a graveyard mod mixed in this, this stronghold. 
You think? Looking at the map, I think we may have crossed over to where the stronghold is. Nope, that looks like it's still the graveyard. Let's jump down here and reset our... We've already been here. Yeah, I have. We're apparently right below a um, ocean monument. It's a crazy location. There it is. We've got it. This looks more like a stronghold. There it is. We made it. Let's go break the silverfish spawner. Here we are. That was a bit of a diversion landing in that graveyard. Let's go back home because I need to put Envale on my helmet. The very first book was Envale. There we go. That'll keep the Enderman off our backs. All right, let's go back. Let's open this portal now. All right. There we go. Okay. I've got a bed over there. Set my spawn point. Made some golden apples. Let's go in. I'm not really sure what to expect. Here we go. Okay. Looks like the action is happening over here. So far, it's pretty quiet. And then let's just stare up our way up. Let's put down another waystone because, you know, we can. All right, I'm nervous. I guess we gotta come over here to get things get things kicked off. Yep, what are these? Can I break them? Nope. Okay, we gotta break these things, right? Too high. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we got phantoms to deal with? Great. Oh, I can't see almost any of these things. Oh. Stay out of the purple. Stay out of the purple stuff. Ah! So I'm gonna get struck by lightning every time I break one of those things. Awesome. Oh, might as well get some dragon's breath while we're here. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna take my time and break these things and stay alive. Maybe I can just beat the dragon like this. No, he's regenerating too fast. Ah! Okay, let's break these things. Let's just do it slow way. Jeez. Ah. Ah. Three down. Oh, great. There's blazes. Are you kidding me right now? All right, this is just going to be a long fight, I'm afraid. Ow. I hate that there are blazes here. Let's go. Ooh. <sighs> Getting struck by lightning every time is super fun. Ouch. Get it? Okay, got it. Okay, here we go. Did 
Okay, we got one in this tower over here. Okay, we're doing some damage. What the heck? I swear these things are regenerating. Well, half through half my arrows, I need to repair my bow. That needs diamonds. So the question is, what happens when we go back? Are all the... I think I need a new strategy. I'm going to build a platform on top of that house so I can hit him with my sword when he lands, and maybe I can easily hit those things from there. Okay, nothing seems to have changed here. Okay, let's build a platform up here. This might be a terrible idea. Ah, yep. That didn't work so well. Gonna knock me off of there whenever that happens. me there. My health went down from like 15 hearts to a half. All right, it's back to plan A. Hit the dragon, hit him in the head, do damage, and stay ahead of those suddenly got crazy. What in the world is happening? What? Why is there so much lightning? Doing some damage now. What in the world? Okay, we're getting close. Come on, come on. Oh, he's almost dead. Come on, stay healthy, Scott, stay healthy. Where is he? He's like got no health left. He's just, what the heck? Why isn't he dying? I'm withered, I'm floating. What is going on? Why won't he die? Oh 
I did it! He's dead! Don't die, Scott, don't die! Oh my gosh. And of course, we, we still get these guys to contend with. Oh, Magnodon. Essence of the Dragon quest. Oh my gosh. There's the egg. Is there an egg? Is there even an egg? Is it in here? There it is. got the egg. Well, I suppose we should jump through there to actually end the game, huh? Before we do, there's the there's the portal out to the outer end. Okay, let's do this. All right, that was about the longest boss fight I think I've ever been in. I don't even know how long that took. An hour? But if you made it this far, Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel to keep up with the series. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Could I have done that faster? Let me know. Also, join us in our Discord. Link down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I appreciate you.